the floating fern is such a wonderful plant so I wanted to show you what it can do this is one that is pretty mature and it is about two feet wide or more but it does see it does really float I've got this one in the middle of my new lily pond and it's an upright lily pond but let me show you the other ones that are a little smaller so you can see uh, just exactly what they do. I just put up this pond today. Actually last night and overnight I have frog eggs. I was like, wow. But check it out. Floating fern. Stays true to its name. It grows big and it floats. I'll show you how big it is. Come on, you little puppy. This one. Oh my goodness, that's heavy. It has yet to grow. See the roots? And it's going to get bigger than this, but this one is pretty big. And if you can see, a nice big mass of roots at the bottom to help clarify and oxygenate the water. It's a good place for fish to spawn, and I've got a lot of frog eggs in there, and um, it really does its job. So if you can't grow water lettuce and water hyacinth where you're at because it's, it's not allowed in your area, floating fern is allowed anywhere. It's very tropical, so you would need to, um, you would need to put it uh, under a UV light or something to give it that extra boost in the winter time. It loves humidity. But what you can do if you're in a really cold snowy area, you could take the little buds, this is the, the little baby floating fern bud, and put it in your aquarium during the winter, turn on your UV light, close it up so the humidity stays in, and you should be able to keep it through the winter. Here's another floating fern stage. I wish I had an underwater camera so I can show you the roots because they're really cool. Now this one here, it lost a stem on one side so that's why it's tilted over on one end. But if you have pots or something like that, you can, if that happens to you, you can prop it up. But I've been moving these guys around so that's why some of the stems are broken on the bigger ones. And it just goes through some amazing transformations. I want to show you. At first it has just really leafy, wide leafy leaves, this is the first stage. Then they grow out wide like this. And then you get what I call are the antlers. And those are kind of leafy antlers and then they get a little more spiky. Well here's one that's more spiky, spiky antlers. And it's such a fascinating plant, I just love it. And the way it reproduces, similar to the water hyacinth, but not quite, it grows little buds on the leaves like that, and that makes new little plants. Here are some, uh, some more buds growing on the plants. Uh, these buds happen to be under the water, and that's okay. They're still going to grow and multiply and float and be happy. And that, my dear friend, is Floating Fern. And my neighbor's dogs. <laughs>